Uh, hi, Adrezio here, and in this video I'm going to be showing off uh, just a couple things I've been uh, doing. I've been messing around with WireMod a lot recently, and um, learned how to do a few things with it. Um, uh, at least a couple. Uh, the first one is uh, this cube right here. It uses a uh, speedometer thing, which is able to detect uh, velocity, both transitional and rotational velocity. And um, all these thrusters are mapped to it so that if it moves at all, um, if I press um, one of the keys, it'll stop itself from rotating, and the other one, it'll stop itself from moving. Like, uh, like this. If I throw it to the ground, press this, it stops it from rotating, and then it just stops it from moving. And it counters all movement. So, uh, if I leave a moment, it does a bunch of these short bursts. Uh, that's pretty easy to fix, I just haven't really gotten around to it. And, um, this is actually relatively simple to do, because, um, this speedometer has uh, six outputs, and I just map them all to corresponding thrusters, and it just sort of works itself out, because, um, its speed is directly proportional to its acceleration because of the thrusters. Like, the thruster is, um, using the exact amount of force as the uh, velocity in whatever direction whenever it's on so no matter what, no matter how fast it's going, the thruster will be on and it'll um, like the faster it goes, the stronger the force is it's sort of like air resistance and um... Yeah. all the thrusters have um add gates on them, so they can be used by uh, more than one thing at a time. And I'm pretty sure the minimal amount of thrusters is what I have on this cube, which is 12. And, uh, there is kind of a weird glitch because of the placement. If I, uh, if I try to only leave the, uh, translational stoppers on without turning the rotational on, it starts rotating crazy, like really crazy, and it doesn't stop ever, because it sees itself as going, you know, really fast, so it just pushes more and more and more and stuff like that, but uh, it stops it pretty immediately if I put the uh, rotational stopper on it. So yeah. Um... I used something like this for a, uh, a satellite design that I made for Space Build. It's over here. There it is. And, uh... That's weird, the slow panel should be on real well. It's, uh, it just has a couple of solar panels that are noted to, uh... to these energy cells, and it just takes them in a bunch of energy, and you can transfer that energy using a long node. But uh, it uses the same system as the cube, so that if it does get hit by something, like, uh, let's see. It can stop itself. Now, the thruster pla placement is not very good on it. it. I mean, all I really did was just attach stuff to the original cube. But uh, it does work, and it definitely helps when it does that. Of course, you, know, you could just freeze it in place, but that's no fun. Um, okay, so the next thing I've done in WireMod is um, I learned how to make a clock using ohm gates. It's just a digital clock that uses seven-second displays, and it's, uh, 
it can go 12 or 24 hour. And the back is completely insane. It has uh, 23 gates on it. And uh, it uses functions like multiplication, addition, addition, division, modulus. You know, simple stuff. Um, you know, it's uh, like uh, the 12 hour, the 12 hour one uses a modulus loop, so uh, every time it, it, the 12 hour one uses a modulus loop, however, the 24 hour one does. So that um, it adds 11 to the current time, then does it, then modulate, then does a uh, 12 modulus, and then uh, it adds one again. So like if it's uh, if it's 12 a.m., which it uh, records as zero, then it adds 11 to that, and then takes the modulus, which means it divides it by 12, and takes the remainder, which is 11. And then it adds one to that, so it gets 12 for 12 o'clock a.m. And it does the same for every value. 24 hour clock is just the direct feed from the uh, time and date decoder. And then the colon flashes with every second. It just uh, uses a modulus of the second and then alternates between 1 and 0 right here. So, yeah. If you do look on YouTube for actual tutorials to make a seven segment clock, you'll find that they all use expression gates, and that's really a lot better than what I did. I just did this for fun, because I have a lot few of what fun is anyway. Um, so yeah, that's uh, all that I've managed to do with WireMod. If I mess around with this more, I'll find other things to do.